What are some of the things that prevent us from bringing a vision to life, from executing our, our visions into the world? Someone brought up the fact that when they would get inspiration and they would share it with other folks and tell people about their idea, they just wouldn't get the response that they were hoping for and it would fall flat in experimenting with sharing it with other people. And then that person would feel like, oh, I, I guess I shouldn't do this. Maybe it's not a great idea. People don't seem to be that, that into it. And I have two thoughts about that that I want to share at this, at this point. Number one, your deeper self that we just identify, that has spoken and identified this project, that's the self that is qualified to determine whether this project merits completion and whether it deserves your full attention and energy and you doing what it takes to complete it. Your deep self is the one qualified to make that determination, not your other lesser selves, not your rational, practical mind that's going to say, you know, I don't have the money to do this, I don't have the time to do this, I'm already overextended, you know, I've got kids, I've got this and that going on. Like, there'll be a chorus of reasons inside of you coming from other parts and other selves that will say to you, this is not, you shouldn't do this. But they're not in charge. That's why you put the deepest self in charge. The deep one is qualified to make that determination, the other ones aren't. The lesser selves work for the self of the capital S. So that's really important. We are going to also extend that who's qualified and who's not qualified to other people in your life. If you're at the office and you share a really brilliant idea uh, and your office coworkers are not into it and then you feel embarrassed or shot down and you feel like, oh, maybe I won't do this. Those people are not qualified to make this determination. Those people did not practice dying with you. They are not going to be the ones on your deathbed. Looking back on your life, make sure you do what you need to do. And make sure you don't fail to do that because shitheads and trolls spewed negativity and shot down your idea. And they weren't even people that knew you. They weren't even people necessarily that knew your inner truest self, you know, the secrets in the depths of your heart and the things that you came to earth to do. That is so easy to forget because we live in a zombie land full of torpor. This current moment on planet earth is not engineered to cultivate your deepest calling and your awakened self, your deepest self. That's why we need a micro culture. That's why something from nothing, our tribe, our lineage has to find each other and we need to create the embassy which will allow us to function and support and cultivate this deepest calling because you came into this body, into this world with a set of gifts and uniqueness to offer that it's important you do offer before you leave this world.